Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Emily, Luis, Lorenzi with 1,475 rating versus MPS, Agno Team OG with 1,774 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right into it. And then we are going to see the Emily win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, so they can go ahead and decide if they want to go first or second, and then looking at deck counts, we see 40 versus 41. And then they are going to go ahead and decide to go first. Gotta love to see the good luck. Um, I hope they say it back. But opening hands is Prosperity, Diviner, Ritual Spell, Zeta, and Emergency. So if they were going second, they'd have no going second cards. And then their hand is Valor, Mystic Mind, Kaiju, Ray, and Imperm. Yeah, this is just, wow. This is a lot of going second cards with a Ray. Okay. All right, I love seeing it. I mean, honestly, this could just be a Mystic Mind game. Like, if you Kaiju over, like, Herald and drop Mystic Mind, that's just game. They're going to go ahead and Prosperity, Vanishing 6, and then Mill 6. And then, ooh, they're playing Zeta. All right, so I've seen, like, Zeta and the F.A. Dawn Dragster. Like, as, like, the Synchro 7s that some people were trying to play. I also like seeing Downard. They also, they banished Beatrice. Then they're going to go ahead and grab Droll out of those. And then go ahead and put those back to the bottom of the deck. Then go ahead and act the Emergency. That will go ahead and grab Alpha from the deck to the hand. And then get rid of Zeta. Bring out Alpha. And then that will go ahead and search for Ben 10. And then Zeta effect, Tribute Ben 10, bring itself out. And then Ben 10 effect to go grab Ultimateness. And then Overlay for Beta. Beta effect to go Foolish. And they're just going to let that resolve. Go send Gamma. So they're probably just not going to like hand trap at all if they're not hand trapping this. And then now I'll go ahead and bring out Ultimateness. And then add back Ritual Spell with its effect. And then activate ritual spell. That will go ahead and bring out Ben 10 from the graveyard. And then Gamma effect tribute Ben 10. Bring out Gamma and Zeta. And then Ben 10 effect. That will go ahead and grab an Eva from the deck to the hand. Normal summon diviner effect sent Herald. Herald go grab Idaton. Then they're going to go for FA Dawn Dragster. Oh, so they're just playing both. Okay. Okay. Then make Link Karibo, pass turn. I mean, this isn't, this is not bad. Uh, I mean, against like this hand, it's horrible, but I mean, come on, this hand's pretty, pretty solid against like Drytron. Like they're just gonna Kaiju over Herald, Imperm the FA, and then activate Mystic Mind. The combo, Normal Summon Ray, attack Link Karibo. Uh, yeah, you can't use that Mystic Mind. And then go ahead and Ray Effect. And then that's going to bring out Hayate. Poke directly. And then Effect, go down Multi-Roll. Main Phase 2, go for Kagari. Kagari Effect, add back Multi-Roll. And then Multi-Roll Effect, get rid of Kagari. And then pass turn, draw Gamma. I mean, Mystic Mind by itself is just game. They draw Cosmic. Hey, that's what they need to draw. Draw orange light, but there's just no way they play it. Add back ritual spell. And then normal summon out draw and lock bird. Go ahead and remove all those to slap an Appaloosa on board. End of main phase, Valor. Then pass. So I'm just gonna kinda skip here. Oh, they draw ray. All right, normal summon ray, go for Hayate, and then go ahead and poke directly. And then use that effect. It's gonna go dump porn of drones from the deck to the graveyard. And then main phase 2, make Kagari. Kagari effect to go ahead and add back Hornet Drones. And then multi-roll, get rid of Kagari. And then set pass. Draw Nova, set pass. So, there's doing a whole bunch of sets pass. And then Rota, go grab Rose. And then pass. So, just kind of skip here until something happens. Eventually something's got to happen, right? I mean, they could just go for deck out. They're gonna prosperity uh, yeah, Banish three 
And then they're going to go ahead and Ash Blossom that. Pass, draw a Widow. And then they're going to Cosmic out the Ritual Spell. Cosmic out the Emergency. And then go ahead and Hornet. Chain Shark Cannon. Go ahead and bring out Diviner. And then slap Hornet on board. Imagine if they were playing like... I don't know, just like some synchro. Go ahead and make needle fiber, use needle fiber effect. They're gonna chain orange light to that. And then normal summon out rose, get rid of that, make Kagari. And then they're gonna go ahead and Kagari, add back shark cannon, they're letting that resolve. And then multi roll, get rid of Mystic Mine, Battle Phase, beat over Appalooza. And that's gonna be a I was gonna say it's gonna be a lot. Oh, that's a good amount, because then they can go ahead and Rose Effect try to bring itself out. Uh, they're going to Orange Light the Rose. And then they're going to go ahead and Eva Effect. That's going to go grab Orange Light from the deck to the hand. We've already went through like all the Diviners. And then Set Imperm, Set Shark Cannon. Go ahead and make Shiz. And then go ahead and End Phase. Shiz Effect. It's going to go grab Widow. And then Activate it. multi roll Effect. Go ahead and Set it. And then pass turn. That's yeah, pretty good. They're going to draw Zeta. It's like, you know, they have multiple interruptions here. Said so no extra deck little One card might be enough. Oh. Ah. <laughs> they admitted defeat. Yeah, it's not enough. Going on to game two. We are going to go ahead and see Striker be forced to go first. Looking at the opening hands. We have Twin Twisters, Foolish, Emergency, Ben 10, Nova. So... This is pretty good. You know, they have Twin Twisters. There's back row they can hit them. And then they have Nib, Valor, Kaiju, Valor, Area Zero. Oh, this hand sucks. Pass turn, draw Phantasma. That's cool to see. Then they're going to go ahead and activate Emergency. It's going to go grab Alpha from the deck to the hand. And then Alpha Effect, Tribute Ben 10. That will go ahead and bring itself out. And then go grab Ultimateness. And then Ben 10 Effect. Go grab Diviner. Then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out Diviner effect, go send Herald, and then Herald effect will activate, go grab Idaton, then go ahead and Foolish Burial, it's going to dump Eva, and then they're going to get Eva effect, go ahead and banish, and that's going to grab Orange Light and Diviner from the deck to the hand, and then go ahead and activate Nova, bringing out Zeta, and then they're going to get rid of Zeta, make Link Karibo, get rid of Ultimateness for Zeta, go grab Ritual Spell from deck to the hand, and then go ahead and overlay for beta. And then beta effect. They're going to chain Valor to try to negate that. And then they're going to chain orange light. And then go dump gamma from the deck to the graveyard. And then activate ritual spell. They're thinking here. They're going to go ahead and chain nib. And then now go ahead and tribute the board. Whoa, wrong monster. <laughs> yeah, it brought the kaiju. Uh, go ahead and pass over the token. And then, uh, so they're calculating the stats, and then go ahead and pass turn, draw set rotation, and they're going to go ahead and activate area zero, effect, target set rotation, and then go mill three, grab widow anchor, and then put those back into the deck, and then send the set, and then they are going to go ahead and nib, beat over token. Yo, sorry I had to edit the video, but we are back once again, the same bird just hopped on the AC, just stared at me and said, oh, you're recording? Brr, brr, just started making noises again. I, I, I dislike that bird so much. It knows what it's doing. But, all right, so the, they went ahead, tacked over the token, and then go ahead, pass turn, draw alpha. Then they are going to go ahead and go main phase. Go ahead, said Widow Anchor negates monster effect. Yes. All right, nice. Uh, alpha and graveyard effect go ahead bring itself out and then go grab Natasha from the deck to the hand and then they're gonna add back ritual spell with its effect and then they're thinking here they're gonna go ahead and get rid of Natasha for gamma effect bring out gamma and bring out Zeta from the graveyard and then go ahead and ritual spell get rid of gamma bring out Natasha and then they're gonna get rid of those they could have used Natasha effect to gain life points and then make IP and then Natasha effect, go ahead and steal Nib. And then Natasha effect, gain life points this time around. Then they're going to go ahead and Twin Twisters, hit the Widow Anchor. 
So do I know the last card? Unknown. And then they're going to go ahead and get rid of Zeta, get rid of all those, make Sword. And then end of main phase, drop Valor on Sword. And then just go battle phase and poke for 6,000. And then go ahead and pass. And then they draw Mystic Mind. Aww. <laughs> Aww, that's not cool. They're just going to drop Mystic Mind, pass. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's just game. Oh, that's just the best top deck in the world. Uh, one of the last regionals I went to, I actually, I actually did the same thing. They Mystic Mind me, and I was like, ah, that sucks. Draw Twin? Ah, GG. Felt nice. And then, yeah, just out that. And now going ahead and moving on to game three, we are going to go ahead and see Sky Striker choose to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Diviner, Orange Light, Gamma, called by Anova. So this isn't bad. They don't have like a Twin Twisters or like back row removal. Uh, and then they have Rota, Widow, Nib, Imperm, Nib. So this definitely works. They're going to go ahead and activate Rota, and then that's going to go grab a Rose from the deck to the hand, and then normal summon out Rose, make Shiz, and then set Widow, set Imperm, end phase Shiz effect. That's going to go grab area zero. It's pretty easy to read that there's a Nib in hand. Uh, that's why they went for like Rose over like Ray. So yeah, I, I think that's like a really, really easy read. Then they're going to pass, draw Ben 10. Then they're going to go ahead and activate Nova, special summon out Alpha from the deck. And then they're going to go ahead and battle phase, attack Shiz. So keeping it simple, just beat over. And then main phase two, go for Link Karibo. And then Alpha, go ahead and bring itself out, go grab Ultimateness. And then they're going to get Ben 10 effect, go grab Eva. And then they're going to normal summon out Diviner, effect Chain Imperm to negate that. And then go ahead and get rid of those. Go for Nightmare Phoenix. So this is the... This should be like the Alpha, Link Karibo, Alpha, Diviner, Phoenix. Yeah, I was going to say, this should just be the fifth summon. And then Effect, target the Widow Anchor. Chain it on Nightmare Phoenix to negate that. And then they're going to go ahead and use Eva Effect. Go grab Diviner and go grab Orange Light from the deck to the hand. Then... They're going to go ahead and get rid of ultimateness for gamma, bring itself out, go ahead and slap the alpha back onto the board, and then activate nib effect, chain orange light, negate that, and then overlay for beta, beta effect to go ahead and dump. They're going to dump the ritual spell, and then add back the ritual spell with its effect, and then activate ritual spell, bring out ultimateness, and then go ahead and link those off for an appalooza. And then set called by pass, and they draw Ash Blossom. So they're going to activate area zero. Set Ash, area zero target. So there's this game. Oh, they don't even hit any striker cards either. Summon limit would have been a uh, pretty nice turn one. They're going to draw Zeta. And then, yeah, this striker player just goes ahead and admits defeat there. Yeah, this deck cannot keep up with Drytron most of the time. It is extremely hard. Because this deck just, like, plays every turn. Like, Shark Cannon would obviously be pretty good against this deck. But, I, I don't know. Even if you, like, you hit this deck with, like, multiple hand traps, they still have, like, the Drytron stuff next turn. So then you kind of, like, have to deal with it quickly. Definitely, I feel like, is a rough matchup. The Mystic Mind Game one was cool, though. Uh, honestly, you could just activate it and just pass forever and you'll eventually just win. I doubt that like they're playing any main deck outs to it. Uh, maybe some side deck outs, potentially. Uh, like when going first, maybe put in like an Imperial Order, maybe side deck in like other stuff. Obviously in this matchup you can put in Twin Twister. But like even like the Drytron Mirror, like... Or, like if you were playing... Let, let's say you were playing, uh, let's say, Tri Brigade, and your opponent was playing Drytron. Like, game two and game three, there's a chance that they're going to have Mystic Mind. That card's becoming a lot more popular. Uh, you know, you might set out your Cosmics because they're not that crazy in the matchup. Uh, they're decent, but they're not crazy. Uh, that might just be worth keeping in your Cosmic. Uh, or have Order. Order's a very good card versus Mystic Mind. 
But yeah, Mystic Minds was gaining in popularity a lot. For sure. You know, if people aren't prepared for it, Mystic Minds is going to do its thing. Uh, also, like, Dragon Link is becoming less and less popular. Uh, Tiding was a card in that deck that really let them deal with Mystic Mind. Because, you know, every game you can just easily Tiding and boom out it. So, I expect that card to become more popular. Hey, they, st they, st they, st uh, they still said the GG's even after they left. And their punter didn't even say the good lucks. But seeing how long the match was, it couldn't have been that long. The probably was just a lot of Mystic Mind. Yeah, it had to be because this match did not feel long. But we can see that it was about 45 minutes long. Uh, that's you know a little bit long, but Sky Striker can definitely take games like that, especially when like Mystic Mind is involved. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.